Hi, I'm Cesar Santos. We just got here to Georgia. The sun came out and I'm about to do a charcoal drawing of an interior uh, landscape from my new studio on wheels. We passed through Ocala's National Forest. We found this place, Salt Springs. I'm gonna try to go for a swim with Valentina. It's been raining for three days in South Florida. I'm not gonna wait for the sun. Never let the weather ruin your day. Doesn't matter, embrace it. Let's go for a swim, Vale. for a place to paint. I saw an alligator. Alligator! Still looking for something to paint. Sometimes we spend too much time thinking of the subject and looking for a subject. I think as artists, we have that inside of us. We don't have to go outside and be in the search for that. If we focus, we can recognize artistic impressions around us everywhere. So we just parked here because it was convenient. I got my solar panels charging my batteries. I didn't want to be under these beautiful oak trees. So we are here exposed. It's a beautiful place. And then after that, I feel what I can translate into my art. I started with a thumbnail sketch just to get the right kind of composition and value simplifications because so many things going on in front of us in terms of a lot of leaves, a lot of uh, branches, all this visual information can be very distracting to an artist that is searching and chasing the light. So don't do that. Inhale it, take time, observe something if you like it and see how you can design it, arrange it. Nature runs with its own principles. As artists, you have to develop your own principles and that will align you with the same intention as nature and develop a good work of art eventually. I will be using Nitram charcoal. I wanna try the liquid charcoal and see if I can sketch really quickly with that, the landscape, and then add some information with the charcoal stick. dry a little bit. It came so bright suddenly.
guys, so I'll be stopping for now. I have a few details to do, but you get the idea of how to always start and spend time starting and analyzing the subject. As an artist interested in the craftsmanship of the process, it's good to think of it as almost like a sacrifice in which you're always seeking for the advantage of the subject and the technique, sacrificing yourself for the end result of the art piece. At the beginning, the motivation was to just work and analyze and, and do something because I've been stuck for four days with rain and didn't have the ultimate setting. As soon as I sat here and said, okay, let's do it like this, the sun came out in opposition to my initial intention and lit up the whole day. So basically, even though I didn't want to break the mood that I had because I had an initial mood and I don't want to be chasing the light, I wanted to stay focused with that um, initial value range simplification because I wanted to grasp the mood of it. That's why a camera wouldn't be able to do that. A camera is just a snapshot. A piece of art involves emotion and perception and state of being. I started with the liquid charcoal just to basically map out the composition and the value arrangement. And as soon as that was dry, I started adding more information with the charcoal stick. We have become too isolated with our conceptual part of being, forgetting that nature is the best art provider in combination with the personal temperament. I came all the way over here to feel the real form because you gotta feel the form before you paint it. But let's wrap this video up. Art move is the form in which the norm is to combine the groove with the storm. 